Hello crafties, this is Sandra from Wallifier.com and today we're going to learn how to create a beautiful card like this. We will be creating two uh, designs uh, from my uh, greenery wreath pack and you find all the links below in the description to to the clipboard pack and to the fonts and everything used in this tutorial. So now on to creating. And this uh, little pop out shows and we are going to print this card so be sure to activate or press the print uh, option here in the new document pop up. Then you can you all view all the presets uh, that you find in here and I think I will go with this A5 uh, sizing. You can of course uh, do a custom size by entering the numbers here and you can change from pixel, inches, centimeter, points and picas and everything that you will ever need here in the display here. And we're going to name this document because it's much easier if we have to close the document uh, and find it later on. So always name your documents. Thank you card. And I'll be using the RGB color mode. Uh, if you're going to print your card with a professional printers, I recommend that you check uh, which color mode and settings the printer uh, wants their files. You can change the settings here in the uh, drop down menu here. I will be using just a simple white background to keep this uh, design very minimalistic and sleek so. And of course it's very easy so this is very big in your friendly so. Let's create. And now uh, we can apply the clipboard. So you go to the file and you search uh, for your clipboard pack here and you use the placed linked and for this first uh, design I will be using the wreath so just double click it and then it's uh, magically appears here on your card. So hit the OK checkbox up in the menu. I want to enlarge this wreath a little because I think uh, uh, this can give a little oomph in the, the design. So. I just drag, I hold the shift key while dragging in the corner of this bounding box like this. And then I place it, I check for the uh, crosshairs, then I know the clip art is centered correctly. And then OK. And to add text, you go to the little sign over here, the type tool. Just click inside the design or on the card itself. I'll be using a font that you can download for free. Uh, at Google Fonts. I will share all the links below in the description, so no stressy here. This font is called Homemade Apple Font and I think it's just gorgeous with this wreath. So I just write thank you. Keep it simple and neat. Then I check for the crosshairs again, like this. 
as we have a wreath we have to adjust it a little bit so it looks great with the design surrounding it so i will lower it a little bit you can nudge the text by using the arrow keys on your keyboard to deactivate the bounding box you just click outside your design like this if you have problems finding the a perfect uh, color for your font, you you can do this. Go to the text, the type tool here in the menu, activate it, then activate your text, and then you see a color box appearing up here. You can double click that one. And magically a little eyedropper appears you see it here by clicking on your mouse holding the eyedropper over a certain part of the design you can pick colors from the wreath by doing this you will find the perfect uh, color match for your text Then, okay. Ta-da! We just made our first easy design. This will be a lovely thank you card and it's very, very easy to do. Wreaths are very versatile and you can use it to almost anything. You can create birthday cards, wedding cards, um, yeah, you imagine. There's no limits with wreaths. That's why I love them so much. And this wreath is uh, hand drawn by me in watercolor. And it's uh, carefully, carefully, very carefully edited to uh, remove all the white edges around that can surround a watercolor wreath when you digitalize it. So this is a very high quality file. So now on to the next design in this design i will be applying the single elements the greenery uh, foliage you just go to the file up here in the menu menu you press place linked and then you choose one of these three uh, elements i start with leaf number one i double click it and then i turn it by holding down one corner of the clip art and just uh, dragging with dragging it with the mouse then i then i hover over one uh, corner a box in the corner hold the shift key and make it a little bit smaller and then yeah, I just place it up here now you can click on it again while holding the alt key on your keyboard you noticed the white arrow the black and the white arrow appearing on your screen this means you can now copy this uh, element. You just hold on to the Alt key on your keyboard and you click it with your mouse and just drag it like this. Now we apply the second one. And do this little oh maneuver again. Like this. Activate it. Now enlarge it a little bit. 
like this. And now to the third one, the same procedure, but this time I keep it quite large and I place it at the edges of this design, like this. You don't have to be perfect at all. The leaves. Uh, look very you know natural and fluid if you just place them a little bit randomly and now we add our little thank you text here and then you press the type tool and just click on your card and again i you i'm using the homemade Apple font that you find on Google Fonts. And then you make sure with the pink lines that your text is centered. Like this. Ta-da! Now you have two uh, very simple and easy designs that you can try for yourself if you are in a hurry or you are a beginner that wants to learn how to use clip art. This is a really easy way to create a stunning design. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Be sure to sign up for my newsletter so you never miss any of my upcoming collection, new products and get my 20% coupon code that is valid for all the clip arts in my shop. So be sure to join the newsletter and stay tuned for more tutorials. Bye bye!